Okay, so in this video we're going to take a look at the uh, prototype target shooter simulator that I've started building, so this will be part two. Uh, and as you can see here, obviously it's slightly different, we've got a, uh, a new screen over the over the first um, part of this video series, which obviously just introduced the, uh, the basic concept of the uh, shooting simulator. So what we've got now is the ability to be able to obviously um, set up the uh, simulator before we start. So um, I have here the ability to be able to choose your distance and the number of shots and also to be able to uh, enable a timed mode for competitive score capture. Now this part here at the moment is um, is currently work in progress. I've got this kind of set up, but it's not actively um, capturing any scores as yet. So obviously that's the next phase uh, or part three. I'll look at building this into the uh, virtualscore.com to actually allow a score capture. So obviously um, shooters can obviously capture their best scores and compete with other, other shooters. Okay, so target distance. So here you have obviously um, a kind of simulated distance this is by no means uh, accurate, it's just obviously for the prototype here, it will adjust obviously the target's um, perspective size and therefore distance from the screen. So we have obviously zero yards being, you know, just basically a target of known size on the screen and then obviously simulated distance back from that location. Uh, you've also got then the ability to have shots, so you can choose uh, how many shots you can have per drill, so five through to 25, and also the timed mode we just spoke about before. Okay, so let's just go straight in and look at obviously zero distance, whatever uh, five shots, just to sort of introduce it. Okay, so this screen looks sort of fairly familiar for those who've seen part one. Um, we obviously improved it a bit by adding some additional features in here. So let's start with um, to the left hand side here, we now have this uh, hit count. So this is basically just a, a breakdown of hits per region within the target. So you can see obviously the bullseye uh, right way down through to the ring for three points. And obviously that's going to um, update real time as you shoot uh, based on whether your hits land on the target. And then coming across to the right hand side, we have obviously uh, our shots. So this is uh, basically how many shots you have available to you for each drill. So in this case, we have five shots available for this drill. Uh, obviously hits is obviously the count of how many hits on target, misses likewise, misses, and obviously the score calculation uh, as we obviously progress through the, um, the drill. Again, here we have uh, the distance shown. So in this case, we have zero yards, meaning that this target is just actual size on the um, projected screen. So there's no sort of like um, factoring in of any potential perspective of distance. Uh, the bottom bit here, this uh, hit zones is quite interesting. It's something that I hope to be able to sort of like um, put in and it's more to do with kind of um, your kind of distribution of where your hits are. So as you uh, take hits on the target, these little uh, zones will will light up or, or get brighter green to sort of signify where most of your hits are going. I find this quite handy where if I'm using pistols have double action and I'm, I'm kind of pulling the shot a little bit obviously when I squeeze a trigger you can see your hits are going more to the left or right or up or down and you can then kind of work on adjusting your your aiming and shooting style to, to try to eradicate that movement. Uh, the zoom capability here you can use to, to zoom the target in and scale the target so if it's at a further distance and you want to see how you're performing. If you're not in a competitive timed mode, you can you can zoom in to see that. And you have the ability to be able to delete, obviously go back to the, the start screen by clicking the delete key. Okay, so let's uh, go ahead and fire some shots. So you can see here we have obviously the uh, hits capture. So basically it's captured obviously three hits on, on the quadrant uh, bullseye and one hit on the segment uh, nine ring. You also have the uh, shots obviously keeping track of how many shots you have left, obviously how many hits you had, uh, likewise any misses, and also the score. And then as you can see here on the hit zone, you can see the, the region starting to, to highlight where most of the shots are. So this is showing obviously that I've got you know, a couple of hits here in the sort of low left region and two hits uh, top middle left and middle right. And you can see that obviously these are showing that type of hit region. And as you, as you get more hits, they, these will become brighter. And again, you can you know, zoom in to obviously see those shots clearer, more helpful when obviously the target's at distance. Okay, so let's go ahead and fire a miss. And then that's all our shots used. We get an after action report, which will show us obviously our score. Okay, so you see here, obviously distance um, is shown, uh, four hits, one miss, and our score. So that's pretty much uh, it for sort of running the uh, a drill. Now let's go ahead and, now you can restart to go back into the drill with the same settings, same distance, same shots. Uh, or you can exit and go back to the, the start screen. So let's go ahead now and look at, say, um, a further distance. Let's go ahead and look at six yards. Uh, we'll do 10 shots this time. And this time uh, I'll show you how it looks uh, for the, when it's a timed competitive shot. 
Now again, as I mentioned, you know, there is no score captures yet. That hasn't been uh, built into this. It's just literally the process of obviously setting this up. Okay, so let's go ahead and start. So now you can see here slightly different. We have a, a time appearing in top left and we, um, we have no ability to be able to zoom. So that, this is the zoom capability to remove really because obviously if you're under a timer, you don't want to be stopping and starting to sort of like uh, zoom in and break your kind of rhythm of your, uh, of your target drill. So we've removed that. So it just literally allows you to take shots on target. And as you can see here, we have 10 shots available, six yards. So this, this has now been scaled to be that perspective kind of estimate size of target at six yards. And the timer doesn't actually start until you take your first shot. Okay, so I have 10, hit, 10 shots. Let's go ahead and fire some shots. Okay, so we get a zoom in at the end. Again, hit zones reflecting where the hits were and we have our time. Again, after action report, distance, hits, misses, total score, and then obviously we have our time. Now, obviously at some point I'm going to obviously use this time to factor in a, a penalty against obviously uh, the score. So from a competitive shooting point of view, obviously the better your score and the better your time, obviously overall your, your score will obviously be better than other competitors. So at the moment, as I mentioned, nothing that this has been calculated. This is just literally set up in the, um, the kind of simulator at the moment, but I, I need to in the next part start to build this out into the virtualscore.com score capture site. Okay, so let's go ahead now and just have a quick look at a distance target. So let's go ahead back to nine yards, uh, 10 shots, but this time I'm not do it timed. So again, I just want to show here, if you, if you first put hits on, you can see where the region lights up. And if I shoot some hits up here, or some hits at the top, you can see how that region is kind of keeping keeping track of where the hits are. Okay, so let's go ahead and take some shots and, and as you can see here, because we're not in a timed um, drill, you can actually choose to stop. You've got three shots left, but you can now zoom in and obviously take a look at where those hits are. So this is more of a kind of like a practice type thing if you want to you know, slowly but surely sort of take your shots, whatever, and each shot you want to um, check where those hits are going if obviously your targets at simulated distance um, that gives you that feature and again obviously you don't have the uh, the timer running so therefore there's um, there's no need to obviously uh, concern about obviously spending more time zooming in so that's why that feature is disabled in the timer mode okay so let's fire our last few shots and then we get our after action report okay so yeah nine yards ten hits and our score Okay, so that's pretty much it for the uh, the kind of part two of the uh, the target shooter simulator. So obviously, I hope you found that sort of like uh, good to see. Um, what I'm going to hope to do is obviously once I get this built out and the score capture capabilities set up, I will make this um, simulator available on the website. Uh, you'll have to register to access it, but uh, I'll create a link that once you register and you, you go on to um, uh, the simulator page, you'll be able to um, use this. Now. There will be two versions. There'll be one which obviously you can run in the web browser. So again, if you're using the, the laser ammo smokeless range, you'll set up the laser ammo smokeless range camera and obviously configure that as you normally would to use the laser ammo smokeless range um, simulators. But once you've got your camera set up on your projector, you could then go into the virtualscore.com website, go to the this target simulator page, and obviously you could then use the simulator um, with in conjunction with the laser ammo camera. Because obviously that'll pick up your laser hits. But it's just looking at the screen and working out obviously where the, you know your hits are based on kind of position. So um, and I'll also make it as a uh, as a standalone downloadable uh, simulator, so you can obviously integrate that into your um, your smokeless range or run it sort of side by side, and um, not have to use it in the browser. Anyway, so next uh, next part part three we'll look at sort of obviously um, the the ability to be able to capture the scores and obviously have those uh, being captured within virtualscore.com score capture for the kind of competitive shooting aspect. Okay, that's great. Thanks for watching.